Hello my fellow smug ones. Well, it seems like these scammers just never rest, doesn't it? Let's begin. Okay, this story is from the Daily Star and it says, urgent warning over new phone scam that sees hackers mimic your own number. This tricks people into answering as they believe it's a legitimate phone number. But it is in fact the latest dangerous scam being used by crooks to dupe potential fraud victims into revealing their personal and obviously financial information as well. But to be honest, it doesn't really seem like they've thought this through well because if they call your friend using your number, then your friend will immediately instantly realise that it's not you, won't they? And if they call you using your own number, then you obviously can't call yourself, can you? So you'll know it's probably going to be a bit dodgy anyway, wouldn't you? In fact, it reminds me of one of those annoying ambulance chase and PPI companies. And to be honest, quite a lot of them were probably scammers trying to get hold of your details. And it seems like I used to get the calls from them all the time, asking me if I'd had an accident. And no matter how many times I told them that I was obviously Superman and did, therefore didn't have accidents, they just wouldn't stop. So one day I thought, right, that's it. I'm going to play along with this. And I said, yes, my car was hit quite late on December the 24th. No, actually, hang on, December the 25th in the early hours in the morning. She sounded actually really excited as she was typing away. And I'm guessing that probably could be because she was probably getting quite a good commission for that day. Anyway, she then said to me, have I got any details of the other vehicle involved? I said, no, not much, sorry. They didn't exactly hang around for that long. All I know was that it was red and the driver was quite fat. But it, to be honest, it really did hurt when his reindeer flew into me. <laughs> Anyway, the calls impersonate well-known government organisations or law enforcement agencies and will ask the recipient of the call to press 1 in order to speak to an advisor or a police officer about unpaid fines or police warrants. And I guess that should be a red flag there, really. But unfortunately, some people may pick up the phone and start to panic if they think they're in trouble about something. And then obviously, if they give it any of their details, then that actually could be quite costly for them, couldn't it? Anyway... In May 2021, Action Fraud received 2,110 scam call reports where the caller's number matched the first seven digits of the victim's own phone number. And of these, 1,426, some 68% referred to HM Revenue and Customs, the HMRC who loves to get our tax, don't they? Anyway, or national insurance, which are obviously government companies and they'll never actually call you to ask this information anyway. But it says victims have also reported receiving these type of calls and messages through widely used messaging apps such as WhatsApp. And if you get a call or message through that about fines and stuff, ignore it straight away because a government agency wouldn't exactly call you through WhatsApp, would they? But to be honest, it's probably best just to answer the calls from numbers you know. Or if you end up accidentally answering, just say to them that if it's important to send you a letter and end the call, because if it's from a company like HMRC, then they should already have your details on file, shouldn't they? YouTube's algorithm thinks you'd like to see one of these videos next, so let me know if it's right.